Hi, I'm Meryl Parker and I'm the author of Wanderlust and I yeah, want to talk about why my goals don't work out and I just had this realization again for the, I don't know, hundredth time so I wanted to share that. I'm going to be doing these vlogs because I really just enjoy sharing what I learn and um, yeah, so I will be doing that. So I might, I'll tell you more about this, why my goals don't turn, work out. So when I say that, I don't mean the goal, what I'm personally responsible for, because like um, writing the book, I mean, I did that, I finished it, I published it. So those kind of goals work out. But other goals that I set for myself that doesn't just rely on me, but relies on other people. Like um, I had a coaching, uh, coaching business and when, you know, I, I do all the work, no problem. But when it comes to like setting a target and achieving that and you know, like this many people are gonna sign up and all of that. I mean, maybe I am a bit too ambitious when it comes to that, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it never worked out exactly how I wanted. And the same went this week when I, I started this competition and I had two aims in doing this competition and um, neither of them worked out. So it just reminded me again what I recently learned about being a projector in the human design system. So if you don't know the human design system, I recently learned about this too and it's like um, the International School of Human Design. You can go to their website and you can get a free report based on your birthday and time of birth. It's a combination of Western and Eastern astrology and but it's something very different from that as well. So um, there are different types of energy beings for in this human design system and I'm a projector and that means that my strategy for success is to wait for the invitation. So I really relate to this because I also found this four years ago I had brain surgery and my life fell apart after that and I came to the conclusion that I had been striving my whole life and I was done with striving and uh, so yeah I came to the conclusion about being a projector and then I just practiced using the law of attraction over the next um, two years and now in the last year I wrote um, I published this book and I wrote a second book, finished the second book and started on the third book. So it's like I've been so happy doing the work at the moment and um, so yeah it's only now that the book is published that it comes to that point of like other people now need to come and read the book so that's where it involves other people again so that's why I'm wondering about this again and so I'm going to do this experiment to see how I can wait for the invitation and how that works out because only 20% of the world are projectors and 80% are the other types which are energy types they're producing their own energy or I, I mean I'm not like I'm just learning about this so I'm not totally sure on that either but I know it's 80% 20% the projector they don't produce their own energy and so they're more here to guide and to, so being a coach or a writer or a teacher is actually the perfect job for a projector. So well, how am I going to do this? So I was watching a video from some videos from this woman called Devon Martin yesterday and she spoke about the subtle art of waiting. So what she talked about was the thing, the three things you need to do while you're, you're waiting and um, so the first thing is that you do what you enjoy and you master your craft. So that's what I'm doing. I really enjoy writing. I enjoy making things in general. And so that is what I'm doing. Um, and then the second uh, thing to do while waiting, she says, is to go follow your intuition. And for me in the human design, I have splenic intuition. So it comes from my spleen and I really feel this as well. I thought it was from my heart, but it's actually the spleen is just there as well. So 
um, follow your intuition and um, go where you feel like and show up because as a projector your whole aura is saying invite me so um, just go to where you feel following that intuition and um, yeah amazing things happen so I I've really experienced this before as well in my life that you know the how I started writing was exactly in that way I wanted to write and then when I was 24 I went to um, Mumbai and went to this laughters club and then ended up meeting wanted to explore I made a whole other video on this about how I became a writer um, and ended up meeting this sound engineer and because of him like it went on like this story I started to um, do photography and also to write as well so that's in the other video though if you're interested in knowing that full story how it happened you can look that up on my page I don't have many videos so there's like it's a how I became a writer impulse to impulse and then what's the next thing so yeah so go so I also became a Bollywood dancer in that way I went to New York when I was 25 because I wanted to be a hip-hop dancer and I ended up like meeting a woman at my dance school who was a Bollywood dance choreographer which is something that I had been interested in the year before when I'd been in India as well and so um, yeah so then that's this is what I mean like just showing up going and I, this happens all the time to me. Well, it happens like when I follow my intuition. So just like that, that's why I ended up publishing my book on Amazon is because I was in a cafe about four months ago and um, met this guy who was really encouraging me to do that. So that's like an example of just showing up in the places and meeting the right people. I could tell you story after story of that. And I just have to say, I don't know if I sound funny because I I just went to the dentist and had a tooth out and <laughs> this side of my face is all numb. So anyway, those are two, two things you should do while you're waiting, according to Devon Martin. And then the third thing you should do is take really good care of yourself and um, your body and um, treat yourself like an elite athlete, basically. So yes, and I have been on a special diet, a healing diet for cancer, and I will be sharing more about that, I'm sure, in the videos to come. So I'm gonna be vlogging regularly, so please like and follow this video. And um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram or on my website, or you can find Wonderlust on the Amazon site too. I'll put the links below. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.